All right, man, button mowers. This right here is a 36 inch. For you guys who have button mowers, because I know a lot of people have button mowers and don't know how to fix these. Can't find part numbers for them, can't do anything. These are very good mowers. People think these are like alien craft, specially made from NASA, the parts you only buy from NASA. No, these are exactly like the Let's Go Long Mowers and the Skag Long Mowers. These particular walk behinds, any walk behind for that matter, is a very good mower. They all come with the Kawasaki engine FC420V. Either gonna have more horsepower or less horsepower, but the parts are the same. And they're either going to be driven by hoses, which is hydraulic, with the two pumps right there. They're gonna be driven by hydraulic or belt driven. You're gonna see belts right here. They're gonna, instead of hoses, you'll see belts on the side. That's the only difference. They're all, they're all the same, okay? Now, I was having my belt just slipped. I don't know if you guys saw the video. I'll probably post the link at the end of the video. But my belt, I mean, not slipped, but it, it snapped on me. My belt snapped on me a few days ago. And I was having trouble finding the belt because the belt did not have any coating or number on it whatsoever. Like these do right here. This one's got coating on it. See that? The other belt, and this one's got coating on it too, but it's fading away but I know the code I know the code for that but the other third belt didn't have any coding whatsoever so I just bought it to a store they hooked me up with the belt closest the belt closest to the closest size which was a 47 inch and it works good enough um, I think a 46 inch will be better it'll make it go faster because I can only make this so tight because it's the big belt the part number the parts diagram for this mower says that it needs a 49 inch that is bullshit. It's um, too big. You don't need that. You need a 40, 47 is the highest belt that this belt that this mower will take. If you get a 40 inch belt on an engine's transmission belt, it will not, it will be too big. It will not make this mower move. You need a 47 inch or less. Between a 47 inch and a 44 inch, I assume. Anything bigger or lesser than 47 or 44, uh, it's not gonna work. But um, when I put the belt on, when I put the other belt on, it's a blue belt. I'm just gonna give you a real quick view of it right now. It's that blue belt right there that you see right there. I put a new bolt. That bolt broke. I put a new one. Just a right. I went to a right, regular hard, a hardware store, a nearby hardware store. Bought a put a bolt. Got a bolt. Put it on, and it's working just good. Um, it's not tight. I mean, it is tight, but it's not too tight, but I want it tighter. So that's why this is a 47 inch belt. That's why I'm gonna put a 46 inch belt and it's definitely gonna be better. I can be able to tighten it down more. But before this pulley was loose, this pulley right here, it was loose. So this what, that's what caused the belt to break before this one. So that, that new bolt is making sure that this pulley's not loose. I cannot jiggle it whatsoever. Before it was jiggle, jig, jig, before I can jig it. But now I can't. It, but anyways, after putting this new belt on, I went to go start the mower. And the mower, when I go to move this, or when I go, because this is, this right here, this thing, is a parking brake. When you put it up, it's not gonna move. Same thing with the right side. You gotta lock them, this is, this is your lock. You gotta lock it so the, the thing won't move. And you gotta put the lever all the way down so it does not move whatsoever. And then when you're ready to cut, put this all the way up to that line right there and then you release this and now you're able to move watch and you release that when you release that now when you move this up this that goes down you see how it goes it can, it, this controls the speed of the lawnmower it controls the speed of the lawnmower now when I let go of these brakes these locking pins these locking things now the lawnmower is able to move but it doesn't move when it's neutral it's not supposed to move when it's neutral okay now when I, the moment I move it up to one, this is one right here, it should be one, two, three, four, you know. When I move it up to one and I start going, it will just automatically just go up like that, automatically on its own. It will just slip up. This thing will just slip, I'll have my hands right here, my left hand right here, my right hand right here, and I put it on one, and it will just slip up some more, like, damn. And the more, you know, when this slips up, the more it goes faster. So I was thinking it's the belts, but no, it's not the belts at all. You can take a look at here. I'm gonna be moving this up. You see how I move it up? Now watch when I move it up. Get a good view in here. 
as I'm moving it up, this bolt, this nut moves as well. Can you see that? It moves, it moves, it moves. So what I did was tighten this down because this was very loose. This was very loose. I tightened it down on this side and on the other side. And when I tightened it down, it no longer jumps. It no longer jumps. It stays wherever I let it go, it stays right there. I just let it go right there, it stays right there, it stays right there, it stays right there. It no longer jumps. I can put it all the way up and I could bring it all the way down and look when I let go, it's gonna stay there. It doesn't it doesn't jump up like that. If I put it down here, it would just go like that, it would just jump up. If I put it down here, it'll just go foop by, by itself as soon as I let go. But it doesn't do that. I could put it right here, let go. I could even put it right there, let go. Now it's down. Right there, right there, let go, it's good. So now all you gotta do is just tighten this bolt right here. For this to be tight. Tighten down this side. And there's one on this side as well. Tighten down this one. And that's all you gotta do. Now this mower is good. I got a 47 inch, 5 8 by 47 inch belt on here. Um, and it's so goddamn hard to fucking find a belt. Now I know the size. So the best place to, to buy belts is offline. There's no place right here, no place near you is gonna sell you a belt for cheap. They're gonna come out saying 37 bucks, you know, and that's for them have to, having to order it as well. You could buy a belt off eBay for between seven and $10, and it's gonna be shipped to your house within a week. But if you, if you, if you need a belt now, you know, your best best to go to a shop and pay 37 bucks, well, between 11 and $30 for a belt, but, trick of the trade right there man it's just before you end up you know thinking into your transmission or thinking you know it's a you know you need a bigger belt or a smaller belt just check to see if these these things right here are loose for the lever you know what i mean because if this is slipping you got to find out why this is slipping you get what i'm saying if this slips this has nothing to do with the belt if this slips you got to look right here look right here see what this does see why this is slipping so now you guys know whoever has buttons i mean these are very good mowers these are the best mowers by far i'm happy i purchased this i bought this thing for 400 bucks even and this thing is when i bought it you know it had a leak leaked hose and fixed the hose now the belt snap put a new belt on there fixed the problem now this thing cuts very good adjusted the blade so it spins very good now this thing man it cuts i'm ready to cut right now that's all i gotta say